Hi everyone, this is Paul with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Today I thought we'd talk about using props and creating lower thirds with backgrounds in ProPresenter 5. Okay, so let's say that you've got a background video and you need to put a lower third on it. One thing that we've recently started doing in my church is putting a semi-transparent gray background behind a lower third sermon notes. That's the way the pastor wanted it done. So that presents a bit of a problem. You can do that with the switcher, and that's what we ultimately did. But for the satellite campus, where I'm the video guy, the, we don't have a switcher, really. So the question is, how would I do that same thing? Let's say... I get a call that this lower third really needs to be added in and it's too late to add it in in editing. Well, let me show you what I would do. I would go here and um, this is actually video from last Sunday. You can see this is my pastor. I'm going to skip ahead just a little bit just so that uh, you can see just a place here. And here is what I did. I'm using song lyrics, but this is, could just as easily be any other type of um, piece of text. So right here it says Immortal, Invisible, God Only Wise. Obviously I'm doing this from Immortal, Invisible, but this could just as easily be sermon notes. So normally my lyrics look like this. So... How did I create this little gray box behind this? Well, it's actually not all that difficult. What you want to do is go into the templates and uh, create a new one. So let's do that exactly. So go, uh, I control clicked or right clicked, either way would do the trick and go into template and now I can create a new template and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's call this test2. You of course would give it a better name and I'm going to click save on that. This is kind of resource intensive so I'm hoping that all that I'm doing on my laptop here doesn't cause a problem. So the first thing that I would do if I was in your situation is I would go to background here and I would make this background white. Now, I'm only doing that because I want a gray box and I want a translucent gray box. If I wanted a uh, an opaque pink box, for example, I wouldn't need to do this. But just for just so that I can see what I'm dealing with, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to add a box here. Let's put that here and... Let's go right there and right here with that box. Now I need to adjust that box. So right now it's got a black line around it. I don't want that, but I do want to adjust the fill color. So you'll notice I went here to this tab, clicked on the fill color, and over here I have my colors. Now the easiest way is to go to the crayon. This is in uh, Mac OS X, by the way. I could uh, do this in Windows, except I don't have a Windows computer. So you'll have to do something similar. So right now I have a solid box, but that's not what I'm looking for. You'll notice down here in this colors dialog, I have a transparency slider. It says opacity, but you know, whatever. So I can put that there. That looks good to me. Now I need some text on it, so I'm going to just type in some example text here and move that down here. This looks pretty good to me, but I want this to actually not go, I want to put a little margin here so that it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, doesn't go all the way to the top, but go, does go fairly close on either side here. Now, you'll notice that this is left justified right now. If I wanted that to be centered, I could go over here. Again, I clicked on the text box here, 
and I can center that. I can make it centered top, centered bottom, left bottom, but let's just say that I want it centered in both directions. That's pretty much all there is to it. So now I just close this. Do, do, do. Okay, now I can again control click on the background and go to template, test to, and apply that. Now you'll notice we're going to have a problem here because I left the white background on. Huh, well, that's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, actually, what I guess for preview sake, this might be good. Uh, but I might want to instead go to the template editor and go back and make that background go away. Now when I click over here, yeah, that updates that. Again, I'm going to kill that. And... That hasn't updated yet because I haven't told it to, so I'm going to go back to template and apply that test to transition, or not transition, apply that. So you'll see that that updates here. So that's very good. Now, the next question you might have is, well, what if you want to override everything? There is a layer on top of lyrics or slides, as they're called here, that is what we call props. Now, I've added this uh, by going into Customize over here and dragging it up over here. So I have a props layer, and I have gone ahead and I've created that, so I can actually obscure that with uh, my pastor's lower third. So that's very helpful. Occasionally, you might need to do something like that. Props are pretty cool in that they're available at any time, but they're not the right way to do lower thirds that you need to change all the time, like how you need to do um, sermon notes. They're better for things that you change once a series, like lower thirds or something like that, or let's say a bug in the lower right-hand corner. That's what that would be for. But let's go ahead and let's play with the props here real quick. You'll notice this looks a lot like the regular editor, but what I can do is first I'm going to delete this layer. At least that was the plan. Here, let me just go back into props. I can obviously move it up and down. Ah, there we go. Had to select it before I deleted it. Now I can put anything I want as a prop. So, for example, I could actually put in the built-in eyesight video here. I'm not going to, um, but I could put a video uh, that might be good for a video lower third. That's an idea. Or I could put a still, and that's what I did this time. I have that on my desktop. Message lower third JPEG. And I just pop that in. Uh, resize it. Now I can make it longer, but what I actually want to do is hold down the shift key when I do that. Hold down the shift key when I do that so that it stretches in proportion. So there we go. And that's basically how I did that. I close that down go back to props and I've got props I also added the make the props go away button up here so I can make that go away there as well so I hope you enjoyed that little lesson on making your own lower thirds um, and using props in ProPresenter tune in next week and I'll have another lesson for you on how to use ProPresenter 5 in worship